I can't believe I've done this for 30 minutes already and i got to make a part three. You see how much they've done to me? But it does go back for quite some time. You know, it starts off when I'm about 16 years old or so. You know, it, it goes back, you know. Um, so... And then I, I go on Facebook, right, and I look up the girl who broke my heart, and her, her dad looks very much like the spitting image of the of the Native American cop. And one of the gang stalkers looked like the spitting image of the Native American cop as well. You know, I think they might be a family, you know, Native American slash Hispanic cop, you know. And then I seen um, a female that looks, you know, she's wearing those, these, um, I think they're called aviator glasses, right? A lot of them wear these aviator glasses to, sh to signify who they are. And also the fact that they're popular, you know, gives them a an excuse to say, well, you know, these are popular glasses, you know? And so one thing they do with similar faces, they want you to say, they want you to start claiming that you see these people everywhere when it's really someone that looks like them. So if you really press it and it really makes it to court or something, they can be like, well, I was here at work and blah, 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 and it make you seem like you're crazy, you know? When really they're doing it on purpose and, and they have similar looking people for whatever reason, usually they're family members. So, you know, then the, there's tons of stuff that they've done, you know. The Asian guy came behind me when I was in the middle of nowhere. He started filming everywhere. Because I have to drive out to upload my videos, right? And he wanted he wanted to impress upon me that they are planning to do something to me when I upload the videos. One, to make me more paranoid. And two, to try to stop me from going to that place to upload videos because they cyber attack my computer so heavily. Um, so there's that. Then there's a countless. The cyber attacks have been going on for a long time. Pretty much since my first channel, Platinum Loco. Um, pretty much since 2009, Illuminati Part 1. When I upload videos, they'd be out of order. You know, if I upload a lot of them at the same time, um, there there would be many duplicates. You know, there was, there was plenty, you know, the playback issues that shouldn't have been there. They had nothing to do with the network. The network was working fine. And the videos would, I record them on YouTube and they'd have playback issues. There was issues with, I'm not sure about these, but there's some times where I feel like they're distorting certain um, features of mine. Like if you look at my nose, it's very straight and it's very, you know, ideal, if, if you will. But there's some videos I look like I have a crooked nose. There's some videos that, you know, it looks like they, they, they play me out in different ways. You know, if you watch, you'll, you'll be like, huh, you'll look at the videos for video. You know, some videos I look very handsome. Some videos I feel like my features are exaggerated or twisted in a way to make me look like, you know, a, a, a image on Mad Magazine. You ever see Mad Magazine or a cartoon or, you know, I think they had a TV show where they, they you know, it's like a political, you know, cartoon, a political satire of myself, you know, that's what it looks like. And so, you know, I'm not sure, too sure about that one, but I'm throwing, I'm throwing that out there anyway because I've noticed it. And um, let's see what else. You know, there's just so much stuff. You know, they, I go out places. They, they, they. You know, they make funny noises. There's times when um, I could have sworn I heard something from my computer, but I wasn't sure. And it's almost always I'm listening to a song or watching the news or something. I'm like, what did they just say? You know, it's not like they're saying something to me. And it could easily be. You know. Anyone who thinks, you know, I'm a, I'm a software engineer, trust me. They have programs. Not only not only they could, they have the capability to do it. They have programs to do it. You know, they, they have patents on frequency um, attacks and voice to skull. They have many ways of doing it. If you doubt it, then you are a fucking idiot. You know, if you doubt that they have the technology, you're an idiot. You know, the only thing that's somewhat reasonable to doubt is that they're using it. But, you know, it makes perfect sense that they would use it. Why wouldn't they use it on political dissonance, you know? They're a bunch of scum. They're doing everything else, you know? They're gang stalking, you know? So I've been gang stalked by people. People follow me around, bright headlights. There was a time where, you know, this one guy in a, a gray bug was following me closely, and I basically did something. I can't tell you what it is, but I did something that scared the shit out of him. So he passed me going hell fast, and he swerved. You know, there, there's been a couple of times where they almost killed themselves because I, I, I inspired fear in them, and you could even say reasonably so. You know, I can't tell you what it was, but I did something that threatened them and they, you know, damn near drove into the mountain, you know, to try to keep, protect themselves. And, you know, and of course they didn't report it and shit, you know. Then there's times when some of them got busted at, you know. Uh, I started telling people what's going on and to make a long story short, the gang stalker was identified by somebody and, 
you know, make a long story short, I'm not gonna say who, what, when, where, how, but you know, there's been at least one time where they were busted at, you know. And so, you know, that's why I say I have the upper hand. I won the sparring match. They've been busted at. I'm still making my videos. They haven't slowed me down. They haven't, you know, I've inspired fear in them, but they're not afraid of me, you know. I'm just kidding. I've inspired fear in them, but I'm not afraid of them, you know, which is part of what they're trying to do. There's been times at night when I'm home alone where they make noises, where, you know, they're around. You can hear dogs barking. You know they're around somewhere. Um, there's definitely neighbors who are helping them do it. There's neighbors that work for the government that live on my road. There's police officers that live on my road. The very first house on the road has a police bike parked by it usually, you know. Um, then down the road, there's there's a sheriff deputy who who lit who grew up down the road, whose family lives down the road, you know, on the same road as me, like two minutes away of driving. Um, this is a long country road, and then and people have a lot of land. <sighs> See, I'm trying to get everything in here, you know. There's there's the females. There's there's on Tinder. Uh, Many females who are gang stalkers have matched me, and people who aren't gang stalkers haven't matched me. And this is common. Everything, almost everything, pretty much everything I'm saying is reported by other people who are experiencing this as well. You know, it's way too specific to be a coincidence. And there's the ABC News have caught them on record um, doing organized harassment involved fire engine, police cars, school bus, mortician, and just people from all over the town, you know showing that this is there's an aspect of the military involved and an aspect of secret societies involved and then of course there's government agencies intelligence agencies police etc and of course mental health you know i've described it before like this and i'll say it again you know when you have sniping need to be done you get a sniper to do it you know you need somebody to fucking you know blow something up or you know disarm a bomb you have the appropriate expert and when you're doing a psychological attack, you have the quote-unquote psychologists and mental health, and especially the people who are familiar from the mental health department with the, with this person, with this individual, the targeted individual. They're the ones who are coordinating the attack. They're the ones who are the main ones doing it, who are deciding the um, angle of attack and what have you. You know, a bunch of degenerate, iniquitous stuff. You know, I've said it before. I'll say it again. You know, they're a bunch of vile, villainous. Barbarous fucking trash. Uh, moving on. These noxious, odious, pernicious, malevolent demons will stop at nothing. Um, and this is part three. And you see how, you know, we're, we're already damn near at 40 minutes, you know. Almost at 40 minutes, you know. We're at 38 minutes right now of me describing to you all the things they've done. And I'm still going. You understand me? So, to this say, you know... Some people, you look at them wrong, and they'll blow your face off. And no one says they're crazy. They say he's just a gangster who doesn't take no shit. But I'm f I'm going through th fucking 45 minutes of what they've done to me, and they want you to believe that I'm fucking crazy. Think about that. Just like they wanted you to believe that Tupac was crazy. That's why I said, call me a madman, because I'm strong and bold. You know, saying something, something about the lies they told. In the song Panther Power. They want you to believe that protesters who are protesting police brutality are crazy people. They're like, we're not crazy. Why, you know, the, the Geraldo guy I brought up in the other video, you know, when they told Geraldo to leave, oh, they want you to believe they're crazy. Typical, very basic white devil tactic to make you, to make them think that you're crazy to discredit you. Very basic, very straightforward. Oh, they're crazy. Don't listen to what they say. It's the oldest trick in the book, I, I, you know, practically, you know. So, finishing up and wrapping everything up, you know, I've I've covered most of the main stuff. There's little there's little immature stuff they've done. They've done something with the autocorrect on the phone to send me little messages and they try to piss me off when I'm putting tags on the YouTube videos. They they switch the words in a way that doesn't make sense, but it makes sense to me what they're trying to get at, you know. Um, and all these things are quite possible, you know. And you're going to have bootlickers saying, oh, this guy's paranoid or, you know, he's crazy. And, you know, I'll tell you this, you know, if, if you're sitting next to somebody who says this guy's crazy, just beat the shit out of him. Just beat the fucking shit out of him. You know, you think you're fucking aggravated about it? Put yourself in my shoes, okay? Year, over a decade of being gang stalked, 
the last four years at least intensely gang stalked, you know, trying to get me to fucking flip out, you know, people at the stores blurting out shit, you know, one, one bitch, Hispanic looking bitch was by the soy milk station, I used to buy soy milk every week, she's waiting by the soy milk, I come close, she says, loser, you know what I'm saying, it's like, okay, because I talk about how women are a bunch of gold digging whores, and how they don't value a good man, and you know the typical woman's point of view, and her, the typical woman's materialistic, individualistic, Babylonian retort is, you know, you're a man-child, or you're a loser, or you're a broke-ass nigga, etc., etc. Just how it is. Women are fucking complete sellouts, you know, Babylonian sirens suck you by whores. On record, some of them even call themselves sirens and suck you this. And some of them proudly sport satanic feminist short shirts, which I've sh sh shown you in uh, other videos. They say, don't slut shame. I mean, it's a story for another day. I thoroughly covered that. So let me just wrap this up. Um, let's see, what am I missing here? Oh, yeah, they, they've, you know, they've had the neighbor who stole shit, you know, park outside the, um, uh, outside my gate and, you know, sit there and act obnoxious. You know, they've had neighbors walk by acting obnoxious, you know, people smirking and, you know, people driving by, following me. They've had people, when I, when I started reporting on Serenials, a part of the people gang stalking me, they've had regular white trash dress up as Serenials, you know, white Hispanic people looking people, you know, biker looking people dressing up like Serenials, you know, and just, just some, you know, old people. I had this one old person, you know, saying some, I could have, I'm, I'm not sure, but I could have sworn she said, you know, you know, are you a punk? Get out the car or something like that. I'm thinking, one old lady, you know, one short old lady, fragile old lady, one fucking fragile old man with a long fucking, you know, ponytail. I'm thinking, why would they say that, you know, unless they're gang stalkers, because they're gang stalkers. Um, what else? I, oh, the, when I start talking about gays, now everywhere I go, there's gays, gays everywhere, you know, Jack in the Box drive through gays, you know, um, it's like it's Carl's Jr. drive through gays, you know, in and out drive through gay, gays everywhere, okay? Completely disproportionate amount of gays located in the place I go to, you know. Um, going to University of Phoenix. Oh, ho, ho, man, I almost forgot. Okay, I went to University of Phoenix for several years, you know, got my fucking master's degree, you know. Man, that's a... I did a whole series about that. I have, I have like a, what, 12-part series, something like that, just on the gang stalking that took place in University of Phoenix, you know. That one girl I talked about, you know, who sent me the trial in Santa Cruz, you know, where, you know, all this shit happened. Um, she was my site, you know, her or someone who looks, who's a spitting image of her plus about 150 pounds, but it'd been about 10 years, so it makes sense. And it's as the restraining order, I think the restraining order was for 10 whole years or something like that. I think they had some kind of extended restraining order. And she was a psychology teacher. And when she was the only teacher who came in, who was quote unquote a new teacher, who had um, another teacher another, or another high ranking staff you know, high high ranking in the in the University of Phoenix staff, you know, come in and, you know, evaluate her. And in her class, this Asian girl called me a mutt, tried to get me to act up, and she herself was a mutt, quote unquote, you know, so to speak. She was half Vietnamese, half Japanese. So it was nothing I could do but make fun of one of her races. I'm not gonna say which one, but it was only because of that. And I was simply retaliating, I'm not a racist. Um then there was shit, man. It just, I only have a minute left and I'm already, I'm not even supposed to be doing these in 15 minutes, but trust me, a lot of shit happened at University of Phoenix, you know, even their symbol Phoenix. I did a whole video about how that's a Greek symbol that was stolen from Egypt and how in, on the higher levels of masonry, they teach us the symbol of the devil. You know, who else, who rose from the ashes better than the devil? How it has to do with the, the Ben Ben bird, the Benu bird of uh, Egypt. Man, I, there's a lot of stuff that happened there. Okay, a lot. A lot. You know, teachers being rude to me. Not all of them, but some of them, you know. FBI agents that work there, like, you know, a lot of shit. You know, some of the University of Phoenix staff and students I saw um, uh, as gang stalkers. Just a lot. You know, they're trying to set me up for, like, one random homeless, homework assignment. You know, have all the 
fucking thousands of homework assignments. You know, they try to set me up with a group assignment that to be accused of cheating. I mean, there's just so much. And then they try to make me feel grateful that I didn't get suspended or kicked out for something that they set me up for. I mean, there was so much that they've done, you know. And one of the teachers with the one, well, I'm out of time.